Hi guys, Olga Sobi here. As you can see, I have two canvases and I want to do a Dutch board diptych. And my paintless diptych worked out so well, so I'm pretty excited to see how this is going to work out with the Dutch pour. So let's get started. So for everyone who thought that I'm silly, you know what, I'm just happy. And I'm happy because we found a new place to rent. It's very nice. It's not as spacious, but it's still very nice. And I'm just very excited. I'm very excited to set up a new studio and also to share it with you guys. Would you be interested to see the steps of the setup? Let me know in the comment below. Um, I kind of want to have a, this flow, like a wavy flow, so I want to add my colors probably like this way. This is a lot of color. <laughs> Let's see how it works. This looks pretty cool so far. I like it. Now I just need to put my hair back. Okay, let's play with it. I really like those parts, but I don't like the center. And I'm thinking, how should I adjust it? All right. Actually, this looks very cool. This doesn't look very nice, but I don't even know how I can I improve it because I don't want to lose this paint because it kind of finishes this flow. Oh, let's see how it looks if I torch it. It 
looks like I'm losing a lot of paint. Probably my metal rods, they're probably uh, bending towards the center and I see that I'm losing some paint, which is not very good. I feel like I need to hurry and put it on my drying shelf because it is leveled and I'm gonna be back when it's dry. I wanna show you how this beauty dries because it has a lot of metallic colors. All right guys, so there we have it. These two have dried very well. I absolutely love all the metallics and every time I do something with metallics and see how it dries, I just question myself, why don't I do metallics in all of my pores? So, because my uh, two canvases were not leveled during the pouring, uh, quite, a few bit, quite a bit of a paint shifted towards the center, so I kind of lost this smooth flow in the paint. So now I can either keep it wider apart, so this is how it sort of continues the flow, especially of yellow, or I can put it like this way. And you can see how this uh, dark red and yellow continues this way and it creates this movement. It kind of reminds me like something like dancing hands or another option um, this way. It's actually right here. See how uh, the ultramarine continues the, this shape. So there is also this movement, now, a <laughs> different one. <laughs> um, let me know which one you like the best. I haven't decided yet, so there is one, two, and three. This is the third one. Guys, this uh, dry results overview is the last video I'm recording in the studio. Very bitter, sweet emotions, of course, but you know what? I'm already very excited to move, to unpack, and to set up a new studio. I really can't wait to see how it's all gonna turn out. I'm definitely gonna try my best to make it very cool. And yeah, I have a couple videos that I haven't posted yet, so I'll be probably posting them for the next few weeks, but they're gonna be just with music. So I'm gonna see you and you're gonna see me in a couple of weeks once we settle in a new studio, in a new environment, ready for a fresh new start and hopefully full of new creativity juices. Thank you so much for watching. Happy pouring. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.